Last thing the kid watched uh, was the two-part episode of Avengers: Earth Mightiest Heroes, episode 12 and 13, called Gamma World. Uh, wow, what a what a Friday! Um, this was a great episode. I really enjoyed this episode a lot. Um, the episode pretty much, for all those who are like saying, what what were the other gamma radiated or villains were doing that didn't leave the cube? This is what they were doing. The leader led them in this, and he basically set basically almost a gamma bomb. Uh, on the, the on Las Vegas actually uh, this was basically so great the, the leader places a dome around the cube of pure ga- gamma radiation and the team is called in to handle it but we also see that when humans get involved in it, they become gamma radiated monsters. Um, and the team is called in to handle this. We get to see a lot of. We get to see Doc Sampson finally, the Doc Sampson we know, uh, and he telling them what's going on. You know, where's Bruce Banner? You know, we need him. Um, and the leader handles this. He's basically saying, you know, this is my my plan. I built this up. We're going to take over. So the team suits up to make sure they're not affected by the radiation. Except for Tony, because he's in his armor. And Thor, because he's a god. As guardian, he has no effect on him. They go in. Everything seems to be going well for a while. Uh, until... Uh, some the plan goes a little bit wrong you know it was really funny to see once again the uh, kind of uh, like kind of like bit of rivalry between Tony and Panther Panther uh, Tony turns to Black Panther and says so who wants to go first Panther and Panther looked like he was going to go first so Steve held Panther back and was like leaders first and Tony was like, oh, like, okay, Cap. Yeah, you had to say that, right? But also, we get to see, of course, Hawkeye. Yes, Clint makes his debut back in the series, makes his appearance back in the series, and he's still looking for uh, Black Widow to clear his name. Uh, but also, we get to see in this, this episode, Madam Hydra, a.k.a. Viper. She makes an appearance in this. And it was really good to see that. Uh, there's a fight between Hawkeye and, and Black Widow. Hawkeye takes out Black Widow and takes her back. And he's, he's, Black Widow thinks she's, he's going to take her back to, uh, to S.H.I.E.L.D. to clear his name. But he's like, no, I'm taking you back to the Avengers. While back in the dome with the Avengers, they're fighting the UFOs. Yes, the UFOs were in this episode, as well as uh, Abomination, who finally talked, was very cool. Um, and Thor, Thor did his thing again uh, in the first part. You know, he he took out the UFOs as as well as Zaz. Uh, he was like, 
become monster, and it was it was great. It was really good to see Thor. So all those people who love Thor, you weren't disappointed in this episode. Thor once again did his thing. He did not disappoint. But unfortunately, all that was just a a, a plot because when they thought they they cured everybody, it was not. It was just a test run for the leader to for the bigger stage. He set his sights on Las Vegas. And while taking Wasp back to the Avengers, you know, uh, while taking, I mean, excuse me, taking Black Widow back to the Avengers, Hawkeye and is hit with the Gamma, and pretty much, he even says it, we need Bruce Banner. So he goes off to find the Hulk. Uh, the Hulk is busy fighting, uh, I guess the Hulkbusters, and, uh, Hawkeye comes in to help the Hulk and he explains to the Hulk I need your help if you don't I'll take you in Hulk starts laughing and all of a sudden he turns back into Bruce Banner now remember what we remember in the first step the the first full episode Hulk said I stay Hulk all the time but this episode needed Bruce uh, Bruce gives Hawkeye some kind of like antibody to keep him from changing into a a Hulk beast like the rest of the uh, the group, and um, we see Hawkeye and them going, and then Hulk turns back in, uh, Bruce turns back into Hulk, which is really cool, and uh, we see Thor actually uh, handling himself. He wasn't getting beat, 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 beat down like you know too badly, but I was glad to see they made. Thor fight without his hammer because he was fighting abomination and he's fighting without his hammer for a while because I, I was hoping that wasn't going to be the case that they were going to make this series that Thor needs his hammer to fight uh -uh. Uh, leader is actually saying how come Thor didn't change like everybody else he's like your science has no no effect on me uh, it was really good uh, um, and then all of a sudden, Thor gets his hammer back, which he lost for a while. Because at first we see the powered up, uh, the powered up, the wrecking crew actually trying to pick up the hammer, and they still couldn't pick it up. And then he calls it, and then he just knocks Abomination, and he says, "Now." I played enough of your games, leader. This ends, and then a Absorbing Man comes and actually absorbs uh, Yon Nier, and he's he starts taking it to the taking the Thor for a while. Uh, little by little, we got we start to see, you know, Crusher Creel just whamming on Thor, bam, 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 and then he's like, "Come on, fight back! What is wrong with you?" And Thor's like, I'm concentrating. And all of a sudden, like, Crusher's like, concentrating on what? And then all of a sudden, Thor's able to control uh, Absorbing Man. I thought that was really cool. You know, you, and he says, you absorb the elements of Njolnir. And basically, you basically absorb what is mine. So I can basically control you. Uh... Back at the back at what's going on inside, the Hulk comes and basically tells you know I'm gonna smash you, leader. You know there's a fight between Abomination and Hulk. Great fight. It was great. I enjoyed it until finally, basically, Hulk hits a home run. Basically, hits hits a Abomination out of Las Vegas. And it's going, going, going. Absor uh, Abomination is gone. In the end, they stop. Uh, Thor, Hawkeye, and Hulk stop the leader. And leader then looks more like the leader with the bigger head. You know, and I'm thinking, Hulk, you're not going to step on his head, are you? <laughs> you know, I thought that was what's going to happen. But it didn't. Um, and... Uh, it ended. Thor comes up to Hulk 
and says basically, look, Hulk, I have much respect for you. You know, you know, you are truly a hero. Respect us to rejoin the Avengers. You know, don't leave us again. You know, we're, we're sorry. Basically, going down the lowdown, we're sorry for what we did. You can trust us. You know, trust me. At least trust me. And from there, um, we even see the shield clear Hawkeye. And then Hawkeye says, look, I'm still not going to join. So Hulk says, okay, I join. I'll rejoin you guys. Uh, but Cupid has to join back with me. Has to join as well. Basically, he's talking to Hawkeye. Call Hawkeye Cupid. And so Hawkeye says, you want a piece of me? And everything like that. So it seems like there's going to be some kind of friendship between Hawkeye and the Hulk. Like maybe a like on and off again relationship. While we also saw more of a camaraderie between the friendship between Panther and Captain America in this episode. In this hour long episode. Uh, so from there... After that, so basically now the full team is is together. Okay, so now the full team is locked. So now when the opening episode, so whenever the opening comes on, we're gonna see the full roster. Um, but after before that, we see Blonsky, the the abomination, still flying out, <laughs> and then he lands. And we see four silhouettes. And in that silhouette we see Crimson Dynamo, Baron Zemo, Enchantress, and uh, Executioner, the Masters of Evil. And pretty much they say, welcome Mr. Blonsky. So basically, basically Sam, the Abomination will join the Masters of Evil. And episode 14, which is entitled The Masters of Evil, will air December 5th, which is a Sunday. And we get to see the first, see how the Masters of Evil deal with the Avengers. Uh, but overall, I give Gamma World, I give it a 9.5 because of the great chemistry these characters have with each other I give excuse me, I give it a 9.5 because of the fact that we got the full team together now now it's the full team and I can't wait to see what comes up next um, so with 13 episodes down four, with uh, 13 more to go I can't wait to see what comes up next. Yeah. Oh, sorry. So, uh, so okay. So basically, guys, uh, this is a good episode. And all in all, I had a heck of a Friday night. Uh, it felt like a Saturday. Uh, oh, Saturday, back as a kid again. Uh, but I had a lot of fun. So you guys tell me what you thought about Gamma World. Uh, and... Um, other than that, guys, this is my Vernon Kid saying peace, one love, stay tuned. You guys take it easy.